That'd be really weird. Sure. Oh, boo! Boo! I'm with a, I'm with a, I'm with a, I'm with a ghost. Oh, boo! Happy Halloween! Ooh. This is the laziest fucking costume You're I have ever it? I have ever done, and I I once literally went in a costume that said this T-shirt is my costume <laughs> that I, I I hand did with marker. Yep, that is you have a very lazy costume. You're wearing your work clothes right. <laughs> I was looking for something better here. I figured we got a we got a shit ton of costumes. I couldn't find anything good that didn't have some kind of awkward mask I couldn't breathe or see out of. Yeah. That would fit. Yeah. So that's I'll tell you what, that's uh the downside of the sheet ghosts. The upside is it's a very cheap and simple costume. <laughs> and you know, like I'm not just a sheet ghost. I don't know if you guys can tell I'm a fancy sheet ghost. Because you as you can see, I have a top hat and monocle. And, and a monocle. So I'm a fancy sheet ghost, so uh, I'm spooky but fancy. <laughs> the downside is uh, it's very hard to see out of these eye holes. Okay. See, you know what would be really scary? Ooh, what? At the end of the stream, you take the sheet off, and there's like just a fucking desiccated corpse under Ye there. Yep. The whole, the whole time. That's absolutely going to happen. And we're absolutely not going to surprise people with that. <laughs> because Cause now they know. We, we just, we're, we're just too incapable right. of pulling that off. Right. So what's 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 going on? I guess we're we're. I said to everyone, "What do we want to play? Do we want to do Friday the Thirteenth?" And everyone said, "No, Jack." Really? Everyone said, "No." They yeah. don't want yeah. Friday the Thirteenth. Sick of it. They want something spoopy, even yeah. though Friday the Thirteenth is f about a spoopy. But that's yeah. fine. This is fine. I have downloaded Death Road to Canada. Everybody wants to see this game, Rich. Uh, like our Twitter feed is is a buzz with people wanting Death Road to Canada. Okay. It didn't look like anything. Um... Here's here. I looked at the video. Here's why I'm guessing everyone suggested this. Yeah. Some of our most popular streams. Yep. Have been. Um, what was that? Uh, Oregon Trail. Sure. Ooh. Uh, they also liked that other Oregon Trail esque Star Trek one, which I forget the name of all the Orion. time. Orion. Orion Trail. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this looks like this looks like a, a Orion Trail mm -hmm. mixed with a twin stick shooter, mm. which is your jam. Sure. So I'm guessing that's why we have all these suggestions for that could be. Death Road to Canada. Okay. Yeah, 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 you got the mouse. What? You got the mouse. Shit. It's under that sheet somewhere. Shit. What did <laughs> I do? With? Hold on, I can't see anything. Here it is. I got. I found it. Ooh, spooky. Here we go. About here. How loud is that for everyone? Is everyone deaf? Can you hear anything else? A hair too loud? Turn it down a smidge? Jack, can you manage a smidge? I can. Wait, two two thirds of one bar. Try that. Yeah, try that. How's that smidge? How's that smidge? No, see, that's why. By the way, uh, everyone is making the the joke that I I know that they were going to make, which is exactly why I wore a hat with this because it, it's not a racist costume if you wore a hat. You can't just be a sheet ghost, Rich, because what if your head gets pointy? <laughs> so that's why I have a fanciful top hat on my head, as you see, and, you know, a monocle. Looks like the camera's cutting most of the top hat off. Well, they can still see it. <laughs> and, it's, and, it's, and it's against the back, black, black background. So. Well, that's, that's just a, a thing that's going to happen. But then again, what Ku Klux Klan member will be caught dead against a black background? <laughs> That's a great joke! <laughs> oh. Ah. oh, fuck. Oh, look, we have Halloween costumes. Yay! That's adorable! Uh, no, there's no trick-or-treating tonight. Trick-or-treating was on Saturday. So I should not be out trick-or-treating with my children, or else my neighbors would be very confused. My neighbors would... 
My neighbors would would not be happy with me if I went out trick or treating tonight. But we went out on Saturday, because that's when we do it. There you go, fresh baseball bat. I'm done. I'm done with that. Nice. Esty sees Chenning, who is a real dink. Yep. Zombies have broken into my home! This is probably a fault! It certainly isn't mine! Uh. The group found this zombie bunker. Channing called dibs on this big bedroom before anyone else. What do we do? Leave him be for now. Mm. Tell him to cool it. Yeah. Call him a dink. Or convince him to help fight zombies. Well, obviously you call him a dink. Call him a dink. S.D. calls Channing a dink. Channing is shocked. It was fun to finally tell him what a dink he was. Yes, it's true. My morale has increased. Yes. And someone else's morale has increased. Boom. See, you did it. You did a great job. Got to tell people when they're dinks. Looks just like Hell Divers. Yes. You know what's up. You know what's up. I have Medkit. Great. That's great, Rich. The Halloween costume is a cute touch. Well, yeah, I think you need, you need it. You need that for Halloween. Look at that. Got a little, got a little Jason oh, mask. Oh, there's a zombie in there. I missed it. Is that a zombie? Oh, yep. Why didn't that other dink kill him? I got some apples or something. I don't know. Nice. Who are you? SD greets Christopher. Uh, I think we'll have to leave the safe house. At least we got to, to rest you, for a while. Can you ye oldie knight? I thinketh we... Oh, is that what he's we'll supposed have, to be? He's dressed like a knight. Oh, I, it's, Rich, it's really hard for me to see in this costume. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll be honest with I you. I know. We will have to leave this safe house. At least we verily got to rest for yonder while. We should try sallying forth towards Canada. Would you like me to tra to follow you on your travels, good sir? Uh, yeah, we could always use another uh, party member. And he's a knight. He's probably got a sword and <laughs> shit. Do it. Take him. Forsooth. Is this Mr. Plinkett Cannon Expanded Universe? No, no, this is just Rich's... This is my Halloween costume. This is Rich's last minute Halloween costume. We didn't even think about wearing costumes until after I got here, and then I had to run home and get my costume. <laughs> my very, my very expensive costume. I get the feeling that that hat on Jack is specifically to avoid making KKK... Exactly! That's the whole point! That's why I have the fancy hat and the monocle. I'm a fancy ghost, you see. And also, that uh, offered me the opportunity to, when I went out trick-or-treating to have a uh, a wine glass full of wine. Well, it was full of red beer. But, you know, then I could have a little glass. What's important with any Halloween costume is to have some sort... is to incorporate some sort of beverage. That way you can drink while walking around the neighborhood looking for candy, you see. Oh, did you lose someone? No, no, you still got your party. You're fine. You're fine. Zombies don't drop loot. There is no advantage to killing them. Okay. Is what they are saying. Oh, I'll just go find your help. Oh, that would have been a good idea, Tarkor, if I had a green sheet on. Then I could have been the invisible man. 
Oh my god! That's, I'm an idiot! That's a good idea. I'm an idiot. Here, play this game. Why? Because. Because. Because it makes sense. Where's Rich? Where are you going? I'm going. I'll be back. Rich, now the ghost is playing. How do you play this game? Can I be a different character? John. Okay, so hey everybody, I'm playing now. I want to be a different character. Oh, he's got like a pokey. He's got more like a pokey. Attack. I think that would have worked better. Watch out for the huge swarms. Running often beats fighting. Okay. hears rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies, with nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, he decides to brave the death road and travel north. Characters can have personality traits that give them more options in events. Hit the road! Oh my gourd! I see what's happening here. I don't know if this will work. You're gonna be a floating head. No, that doesn't work at all. Hold that, on. That literally doesn't work at oh, all. Wait, 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 wait. We got it. We just have to. That doesn't. First of all, that doesn't work <laughs> at all. At all. <laughs> but we just gotta do some adjustments. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, everybody. We have to. We have to make Rich's costume. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ghost it up for a second here. There we go. How's that? That's good enough. It's gonna be good enough for today. <laughs> Look at that. Now you're a floating head. Ooh. I gotta get my mic over. Hold on. Ah. You can't move at all. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I have to cover the chair too? Alright, here we go. Oh, there you go. That's perfect. That's perfect, Rich. All right. Back to... Now this goes back over here. Boom. And... The throw to camera. Okay. My floating head still needs a mic. Well, that's, you know... Obviously. Okay, to start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to survive Death Road, you'll need a, to hoard as many supplies as you can. Um, so do we want the house on the road, the quiet factory, or the rest stop? I'm gonna say the quiet factory. The quiet factory? Yep. The, the group finds a rundown factory. Like most factories, one would, one would see nowadays. Sometimes people try to set up a safe hideout in a factory side closet, but this usually doesn't end well. Mm -hmm. Your zombie forecast is... Swarm size, sparse. Okay. Aggression, sluggish. Okay. Current time, late morning. That doesn't sound bad. Green screens. 
is totally fucked up. But you know, it's fine. Is it's, it? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it looks fine. It's fuzz. This is fuzz. Oh, is that the background of the game? Oh, it's the background of the game. It's fu static. Yeah. I thought that was green screen bleed through. So have you watched more of Stranger Things? Uh, I have not. I have okay. not watched more of Stranger Things, unfortunately. Ah! There's zombies! Get out of here! Oh, what happened, what happened to everyone's costume? Uh, that was just a tutorial. Oh. That was just a tutorial. Um, so now we are in full-blown game mode. Probably, it's probably durable. There might be durability. Okay, there it is. All right. What's up with this music? Uh, it sucks, is what's up with it. It, it does. It kind of does suck. It seems with weapons, reach is fairly important. Yeah. Oh, got some gas. Nice. Okay. Your characters start. Hold on. I have to. <laughs> I have to sneeze, but I'm I am a headless head. I'm a bodyless head. Where are I have you, no, where are you I have no hands which with to cover up. Ah! You start with low stats and tire up from swinging too much. Oh, uh, okay, that's what was happening. The weapon, heavier weapons do more damage, but tire more. Avoid fighting whenever you can. Nice. Okay, we got f ah. We got food. We got some stuff. I'm getting some stuff. I'm figuring it out. We're getting some shit. Yeah. Pills. Can we name? Can we name these characters? I don't know. Jack, can we name the people in our group? What happened to my rebar? Oh shit, I threw a grenade. There was custom characters, but Jack didn't take that option. I wasn't, I just started the game, I wasn't, I, know, I don't know. I know, we can restart. Do you, yeah, wanna, do you wanna restart? Yeah, it'd be fun to name people after people in chat. Well, we'll get new people. Yeah. We'll get but, new people is what I'm saying. Listen, I'm figuring things out, Rich. I'm probably gonna die anyway. All right. Listen, you, you, won't, you work on dying, then we can turn the music down. That. Uh, after a long drive, the group finds a safe place to camp. The night passes with no incidents. The group eats a decent meal. Alright. We lost some food, but didn't really you lose it. We used it. Right. It's nice having the whole road to yourself. The group spots an infested city from the road. Scouting it from afar, the group has to decide whether to fight under the noon sun for supplies. Ah... Uh... The restaurant or the umbrella shop? Headless ghost. Headless, headless. Ah, uh, food. Restaurant. Bodyless head. I say restaurant. All right. Fan fancy ghost. Okay, here we go. Can't go there. Wait, I thought this was a restaurant. Did you have to walk to the restaurant? I don't know how things work. Search random homes. Well, some of those homes have like garbage. Oh, wow, 
Why this music? Oh, that sucks. Because they wanted to make something that sucked? I don't know. That's mean. That's mean. Music is actually pretty good. I, I personally don't care for it. It's not my jam. I know this isn't like a serious spooky game. That doesn't mean the music is good. Well, the music doesn't need to be spooky, but yeah, this is just... Oh, okay, there, there's the restaurant. I see the restaurant. I'm gonna go see if there's any... Yeah, some sparklers. Yeah. Why is that bat up shaking? Right? Oh. Nope, garbage. Okay, what was that? Get out of here! Oh, shit, shit, shit. Get out of here. Dang, zombies. Okay. I think I'm figuring this out. I can hit people with a spine. <laughs> That's great, Rich. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Great. See, great. you are super into it. Eh. Right now. Mildly into it? Eh. 25% into it. Maybe, maybe 15. <laughs> <laughs> eh. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Played Zombies Ate Our Neighbors. I have, love that game. Zombies Ate My Neighbors. That's what they call a classic. Nice. Okay, that was pretty that was a pretty good haul, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think you did good, Jack. I think you did good. Yeah. Feel, feel pretty good about that. Uh Chippo Lore says. Uh, Chip Oatlore, sorry, says, Jack, any spooky movie recommendations for tonight? Not just any horror movie, a spooky movie to get in the Halloween spirit. What do you got, Jack? What do you got? Um, you know what? I really, if, if you're in the mood for something a little lighter, I recently rewatched uh, that Coraline movie. Yeah. That's the uh, animated one. Uh, stop motion animation by the same director who did uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. And it's that one is genuinely creepy, but that's more of a, it's like a kid's movie. Oh, Coraline, yeah. Coraline. Uh, they did other creepy ones too. I'm like, I mean, that's creepy, but Paranorman and whatnot. Yeah, they they did. Uh, Par it's the same company did Paranorman and I maybe Monster House too. I forget. But uh, that was a that was a good one. Uh, Trick or Treat, the Brian Singer uh, horror anthology, I think is pretty spooky and in the in the spirit. I don't want to talk about it. We just watched one. Oh, no, that's too spooky. They can't handle that. Can't handle that? It's too spooky? That's too spooky. They can't handle that yet. Uh, and if you want something um, not necessarily Halloween-related, but just creepy in general, watch The Vovich. If you haven't seen that yet. The Witch is a, a great, creepy horror movie. So... Lot, you know what you got here? We got lots of options. L lower the music, it's hard to hear us. Oh, okay. Any excuse to lower the music. It'll be, oh, fuck. It'll be lowered for them, but not necessarily. Oh, no, no, it's louder now. Oh, my God. There, there. The music is lowered, and we can just turn our TV volume down. All right, now it should be low for you guys. All right, where is it? Oh, no, I need this. 
one good eye here. Hold on. <laughs> oh, just like one good eye? Yeah, I just got one good eye. Okay, great. Now we're doing good. Do, do you want me to play? Uh, yeah. Yeah, for now. If you can, because you're you, you don't have I, any I might body. have I might have tele oh oh my god a hand appeared ah! oh that's so scary a hand just oh it went away <laughs> a scary hand went away <laughs> yeah, we'll share it with everyone yeah um if you like The Shining you should like the Vovich yeah the the witch is a is a nice like. All, you know, it's it's set in that that Salem witch trial times. It's got a creepy overall tone to it. It has a witch. Um, there's there's some decent like horror imagery near the end, and uh, that that one's that one's really fun. I, I think if you're looking just to get into the Halloween spirit, <gasps> what happened? That's it. I, I ran from bandits. And you killed Antoinette? I didn't kill her, the bandits did! Rich! Who are you talking to, Alan? There's no one left in the car, you're talking to yourself! Um, so that's really good, but if you're looking for something like Halloween-y, uh, then watch Trick or Treat. That, that one... That's a fun horror anthology. That trick or treat. That'll 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 be good times. All right, I kind of want to restart and find out how we can name people. Okay, do Is that it. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't care. I genuinely think the Vovich would have been better if it did not show the witch at all. Custom characters. All right. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Uh, I disagree. I think I think the the showing of the witch helped highlight the monster as metaphor for the witch. And I'm not going to get into too much spoilers because the witch does show up rather early in the Vovich. But Ooh. you know, the entire movie is about this young girl's family who think that the young girl is the witch. Yeah. Right? But we know that the young girl's not the witch because we've seen the witch. Okay. And so, you know, it's it's all just a giant metaphor for, you know, a young girl growing up and the pressures that are put on her and, you know, the uh, the stigmas that are put on young girls. What, what, what do you need? Uh, keyboard, we need to type names. Oh, okay. Can you do that? No. Yeah. I can't, hold on. When they're, hold on, I'm going to click away for a second. They've asked for the music to be even lower. Let's, we, they want some game noise. Let's find the music slider in the game. I'll, I'll turn down the music in the game, so leave it there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is the worst music. Ah, uh, it sure is. Okay, what's, what's the, oh, yeah. Wait, me, uh, back. Go back. So, yeah, go over to the, the. Ah! Game ah. music zero? Surely we don't need the witch for that? Well, yeah, we we need to, for, you know, for us as the audience, uh, the, the young girl is kind of our eye into the story. And so, like, we don't want to spend time questioning whether or not she is the witch we we need to be on her side uh and so showing that there really was a witch and of course then we get some fun some fun scenes with the witch all right name uh, uh oh head over to the twatcher <clears throat> oh uh. yeah i'm sorry I'm a, I'm a, I'm You're a floating, floating head. I'm you a are, floating head. You are not a help to anyone. <laughs> or anything. That's or correct. Anything. Chatter <laughs> lottery. Okay, our first one will be uh, subs only. Subs only. Ready? And it's Skippy Brown. C congratulations, Skippy Brown. Skippy Brown, you will be joining the death road to Canada. The game is telling you that it has co-op play. Oh, great. Are you in the mood, or do you want to just 
talk. I'll just talk okay. for a little bit. Skippy Brown, Rich. No, I have the keyboard. You have the keyboard. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and I can't see the keyboard because of my stupid... Skippy Brown! Uh, okay. It's neat how in-depth it looks like their character creator is. I kind of like that. Save. Oh, is it take from like a pool? Let's just make. Uh, we'll name a few people. Go to another character. Can we change another? There we go. And this one is going to be. Eh. Alright, this one we're going to take from everybody. Everybody who's watching. And it's Darth. Steve Darth Steven us. Darth Steven. Darth Steven us. Darth Steven us. Okay. All right, and then we're here, and then we'll go. Darth. Darth. Shit. What happened? I don't know. That's no, not Skippy. Did I not save that one? Or are you saving over that one? No, it'll be fine. Nope. What is happening? Are you not selected on the name? What? Oh, apparently if you hit space. It takes you back here. Oh. Gosh dang it. Okay, so hold on. no space. I'm sorry, I'd help you, but I'm just a head. I'm just a floating head. Right. There's nothing I can do. I'm with you. Let's let's get them all. Because oh god, let's get like let's get like six of them. Okay. Uh, no problem. Uh, okay. And... E. Gads Johnson! You, you want my diet plan? Uh, you need a sheet. You need a green sheet. Yeah? And some digital magic. E. Gad Johnson. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. We gotta do that first. Yeah, yeah. Great. Save. Oh, there we go. Beard. That's a, the, the beard's uh, nice. Beardy beard. The beard's nice. I like that. Okay, and we got... Far foully. Far foully. Far foully, you get the beard. Okay. Far foully. Great. And then let's see here. Random, 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 random. I like that helmet. Okay. Uh, I, we're just, we're randomly picking people. We're using the Twatcher to randomly choose people from the chat. Uh, we have fecal drippings. No. Ew. Fecal drippings. Ew. Yeah, I know. All right, one more, one more. Here we go. Who's going to be? Who's it going to be? Yeah, that guy looks good. <laughs> looks Hannibal, he looks like Hannibal Lecter. Sorry, we, we're, we, this is being, for, for maximum fairness, these names are being mechanically selected. Yep. Michael Van Dryel. For maximum fairitude. Crypt of the Necrodancer tonight? That's a hard one to play in stream. Crypt of the Necrodancer. Ah, uh, it's true. That is a very hard one to stream. 
All right. There we go. Hold on. Let me get back over here. That is a, that's a very hard... You really have to concentrate yes. while playing that game. If, uh, if you've never played that game, you, uh, you really have to concentrate. All right. Heads um, up. All right. And... All right. Is there a way to guarantee this thing uses your saved characters? Wait, 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 wait. Go back, back, back. Go to the options menu. Or I can just, just, oh. I got it. I got it. You got it. All right. Uh, I'm just looking for an option for... No, I don't see it. I think it just takes it randomly, man. I think it's, I All don't right. even know if it's for like Let's when you're you starting guy. But we got him. We got him in there now. Oh, it says familiar faces mode. Oh, where's that? Where's that? Uh, go back to options. Yes, return to the title screen. Wait, go back. Where does it <coughs> say that? I don't know. In new game select? It's in game mode, not options. Okay. Start. Game mode. Okay. There we go. Most road recruits you meet are now familiar characters. Great. Boom. Start. Great, Rich. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Alan hears rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies. We've kind of read this before. Yep. Ah, we're good. Great. Hit the road. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Gobbledygook says, Jack, are you dead Mr. Peanut, the ghost of Uncle Scrooge, or an undead Mr. Monopoly? Also, Rich, thanks for giving us a, a little head this holidays. Little head. Because you're just a head. Do you get it? Do you, do you get it? I think I have a very big head. Uh, I like the I like uh, that I'm I'm the death of the Monopoly man. I've led a horrible life and now I'm cursed to haunt the earth. I shouldn't have been uh, so obsessed with material things. Ooh. Ah. Let's see here. Chris Kalen says, help. I have no idea where chat went, and I have been gone a long time. Also, today's my birthday. Halloween is my birthday. Well, happy birthday, Halloween. That's fun. It's fun to have a birthday, Halloween. Yeah, remember, you don't necessarily get anything for killing zombies except for them not attacking. Right, right. So. Relatively fast zombies, which is pretty Yeah. Come on, Andrew. Don't fuck around with the zombies. Uh. You know not to fuck around with the zombies. They should. They should know. Yep. It's a floating head and a ghost because it's a spooky stream. It's a spooky Halloween stream. We're super spooky. Can you even tell that I'm wearing a hat? Everything's so dark. You can't. You can't. The game is dark. Well, I'm wearing a hat. You know what? At very least, I don't have a pointy head, no matter what. That's the only thing that matters. Oh, see, this is new guns that look white. What? Uh, I just watched Trick or Treat tonight for the first time. How has this anthology not had a sequel yet? I, I, I don't think it performed very well. Let's part... You know, usually a movie has to be profitable in order for them to make a sequel to it. I don't know if it was... I don't even know if it was out in theaters, Trick or Treat. I didn't hear about it until recently. I don't feel like I've found enough, but oh well. Oh well. It is It is what it is. <laughs> I 
think it did really well on video. Well, oh, I think that's a Halloween classic at this point. Trick or treat. Uh, Reefer K, yeah, the young ones went trick or treating uh, yesterday. Or not yesterday, Saturday. We went trick, we had trick or treating on Saturday. So, today is just Tuesday. That's all today is for us. Just a normal Tuesday. I'm, I'm sorry. That's all right. But we did, uh, we, 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 uh, we played a little game before I came over tonight. We played more of that, uh, Underlings of Underwing, that dragon hatching game. It's adorable. When your sister comes to visit, I'm going to bring it if she wants to play board games. Does she play board games? Uh, my sister probably. Yeah. Okay. She'd probably be okay with a lot of things. I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna... She's a, she's a fan of the Japanese role-playing games. Okay. She'd probably be down with Final Fantasy. Ooh. Yeah. Well, but, but like, would she be down with playing a game and talking? I think that's a lot to ask for a person who's never streamed before. I think she might be. I think she'd be okay. Okay. Lost, lost morale. Yeah, that's all right. She, I believe she's invited. I believe it's it's already in the works. Uh, but I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring some options just in case because I you know, I know streaming and playing a game is not always uh, easy for people, and so you know, we're gonna bring uh, we're gonna bring uh, some board games, like sorry, like Underlings of Underwing, which is a dragon hatching game. Losing a lot of morale. I think that just happens. I mean, like, losing a lot of morale. Well, tell a joke or something, man. Get him back on your side. All right. All right, so we can't walk through the trash. There's a ton of zombies there. Where's Jack? Jack died, and you are now being haunted by the ghost of Jack. Ooh. I pick up a gun. Where's my gun? I press uh, B. I did. Or A. Whatever switches your thing. Did you drop your gun? I don't think so. What happens if you move the other stick? Is that how you aim your gun? No. No, no. You have bullets. I know I do. I... Apparently I don't have a gun, even though I have a gun. Oh, Antoinette picked it up! Oh, and she's hitting people with it, not shooting you anybody. You dumbass! Put Shoot down my it. gun! Shoot it! Well, once you get back in the car, you can, like, maybe make her give it to you. Picks up a gun, she uses it as a fucking melee weapon. That's great. Well, I think you have all the bullets. No wonder our morale is so low. Get back in the car. What are you doing? I'm going the wrong way, apparently. I'm going to loot all the things. Sure. When are you playing Thimbleweed Park, you hacks? It'll be a while. It took us a while to get to Space Quest 2, man. Thimbleweed's a, a full-blown point-and-click. Is there voice acting in Thimbleweed? Because that's kind of our shtick when we play those kind of games, is we, we, we like to do the voices. Alright. Useful things show up, right? As a glow? Yeah. Okay, uh, Crusher of City says you can swap characters and equipment between characters in the menu. You don't have to go back to the car. You should check all the houses. I guess I could just swap characters. No, because she doesn't have any bullets. You have the bullets. I think. I don't think? Yeah, see, you have 67 bullets. Oh, okay. She has no bullets. Now you gotta figure out how to shoot people, though. You got a piece of wood. I know I do. Oh, 
Oh, there's a target. Oh, okay. Oh, in Thimbleweed, apparently you can turn off the voices. So then then, then it gets a maybe, because like the voice acting is part of what makes it fun. For us. How do we get past this garbage? You can't, I don't think. Can you hit it? Can you hit the garbage with something? No. I only have a gun right now. I need oh. another melee weapon. What happened to your bat? I what? gave it to Antoinette so she would have something after I took the gun she had. Oh, sure. True that. I, don't, I just don't think you can get past that garbage. I think that's part of the random generation. But there's a glow thing for going in this room. I don't know. Maybe you need a grenade or something. And you can't open the other door? What other door? There's a door above that door you just went in. <laughs> that was surrounded by garbage that I couldn't get through? No, no, no. Uh, no, go out. No, go up and to the left. No, down. Yeah, that, I couldn't get in there. There's garbage. Look. Oh, I thought you were in the bottom door. Listen, but they're both the same things going on in both. That's weird. Yeah, it is. That's weird. Uh, okay, Chernobyl Kinsman says glow just means you haven't been in there or opened something. Okay. It doesn't necessarily mean there's loot. Great. Thanks, guys. Uh, hey guys, says Zunbi. Uh, you can appreciate good movies as a source of entertainment, but has there en has there been any universally agreed upon <laughs> bad games you still like? Basically, what's your Tammy and the T-Rex of gaming? Any bad games that you like? Um, probably. <laughs> eh, right? Like it, that's a uh, that's hard to think of. Wait, did you just break a chair and then get a piece of wood? Yes, I did. Oh, that's fun. That's cute. I like that. Uh, that's that's tough to think about, actually. Like, because yeah, generally, <laughs> if a game is bad, like there there have been games where aspects of it I didn't enjoy, but I kept playing because other aspects I did enjoy. Right. Um. There's a very recent example I can think of. Oh, what? But I don't, I don't want to spoil anything. Okay. Before we, we have a chance to talk about it. Talk about Mario. But that's considered to be a good game. Yeah. There are aspects I don't enjoy about oh, it. Oh, sure. There are aspects I don't enjoy about it, is what I'm saying. That's not the question, though. I know. Mm. I know. Didn't Rich like Mighty Number no. Nine? Did you like Mighty Number no. Nine? Um, uh, I didn't hate it. Unlike everyone else, I thought it had some good aspects to it. I still don't like it that much. <laughs> uh, ooh, there you go. Uh, a black mark uh, has a has a good uh, like PUBG for me. I played a lot of PUBG and I never liked playing it, but I always wanted to like it. <laughs> PUBG is my is my. Word? I think I think they're looking for the game that most people say is bad. Oh sure. But you like it despite that. That's oh. what they're looking for. I don't have that then. I'm sorry. Start the car. This game's cute. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna hold my interest for long. Right. But it's cute. Sure. <clears throat> sure. Did you ever egg or toilet paper any houses when you were younger? Did you ever no. vandalize stuff on Halloween? No. Uh, I did. Some, I did some stuff. I did some stuff in my younger days. Yeah. Uh, from from the country, we moved into. What happened? Alan stands guard for the night. He falls asleep almost instantly. The next morning, a bunch of supplies are missing. Uh oh. Ow! Son of a bitch! That was painful. Yeah. 
So we moved from the Alan, co- you suck. Well, and, uh, where was Antoinette during that? You're ambushed by a giant spider? Well, Alan, I don't trust you to do anything anymore. Mm. Antoinette's got to spooch the spider. Great. <laughs> Her morale decreases. Oh. Yeah, but you get five food. Spider meat. Uh, so in any case, we moved from the country into the suburbs. Mm. And, uh... And uh, I, I ran in, uh, I, I started running with some hooligans. And so we, we would TP people's houses. Yeah. Um, I don't think we ever egged anyone. We did try a couple uh, flaming bags of dog poop. You know, that old trick where you light, you light a bag of dog poop on fire on someone's porch. And then they're supposed to stomp it out and get dog poop on their shoes. But here was the problem. Uh, nobody fell for it. Right. And so they would just let it burn out. And, like, scoop it up. Like, not getting dog yeah, poop on yeah. my shoes. So, I was always like, eh. <laughs> little, I was a little disappointed by that. Uh, a little more innocently, in high school, me and a group of friends on several occasions would uh, would would go uh, and find furniture on the side of the road. You know, like couches and chairs and uh-huh. and tables and stuff. And if we could find enough pieces, we would actually go around pick all of them up in like someone's pickup truck and leave them on a friend's lawn but arrange them as if it was a real living room <laughs> and so we'd go to a friend's house and like put a couch a coffee table a chair like an old busted tv on a tv stand and arrange on their front yard to look like a living room just as a joke all right i hope it didn't rain on the furniture no, no, this is furniture that was left out for the garbage oh, man. Oh, okay, okay. And we would pick it up and arrange it, and we would laugh and laugh, but parents got real pissed. And they knew it was us. Like, it wasn't, you know, and we'd come and clean it up like a day or two later. But parents did not like that. I thought it was an innocent trick. Uh, uh. Yeah, it's pretty elaborate. The uh, the other thing I used to do with my group of friends in high school, uh, prank wise, is we would spam each other. The idea uh, of spamming is finding the most ridiculous thing you can at the grocery store, i.e., a canister of spam, and hide it somewhere in your friend's room, and wait for them to find it. And so you know you'd find like pickled pigs' feet or spotted dick or you know stuff like like the weird stuff that you find in the grocery store that you don't know why is there uh-huh. uh tripe tri- exactly <clears throat> yeah exactly and then you hide it somewhere at your friend's house and wait for them to find it and then they have to find the next thing and hide it in your house <laughs> okay <laughs> Just- i think i think we're getting rid of alan's got my gun though but he's a jerk he has your gun can you take the gun before you kick him out Made me leave someone. Well. Whoa, it's Egad Johnson. <laughs> it's nice to see a familiar face. <laughs> he is staring at a map with an expression of total confusion. Trait frantic whiner. Perk surgeon. Ooh, yeah, you want him. All right, all right. <laughs> The city is covered with hordes of undead and wreckage that has been touched by previous fire. The group gets surrounded and their only chance is sprinting through the sewers. Oh, shit. Aggression hunting time late night. I mean, you got it. You kind of got to. Can we just keep driving through? Uh, nope. <laughs> And you don't have a gun anymore. Man, you should have kept Alan. You should have kept Dallin. Dallin. Let's see here. Joe Kitty 001 says, Hey guys, thanks for doing something spoopy this month. If you didn't, you would have to you would have had a curse put upon you forever. Oh no. 
Or until you played Harvester on GOG. Originally, <clears throat> this month, yeah, I wanted to do this whole thing with uh, Polybius. Yeah. And, um, well, you are familiar with Polybius because we talked about him. We should talk about Polybius. We should. Uh, uh, Polybius is an old uh, urban legend. Uh, a game that was supposedly in arcades back in the 80s, mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, men in, men in black would be attending the machines, and <laughs> kids who played the machines, they'd... Weird things would happen to their mind. They'd forget things, or they'd get angry, or their personality would change. And mm -hmm. it's this whole, this whole thing, and um, like a bunch of people started doing a video on it recently. It's like, eh, we can't do it. That was that was the problem. Is like you showed me someone made like a little mini documentary about Polybius, and they're like, hey, maybe we could do something like where we where we go under the influence of Polybius, but like the documentary clearly debunks. The existence yeah, of but... Polybius, and so like I wasn't into it just because I was like the th the one thing you showed me about it confirms that it doesn't exist. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Do you really think it matters? It does. The, to now, me. The, the angry video game just did, just did it. Yeah. And the, the person who did that video you're talking about, I want to say the YouTube channel was called Ahoy. Uh huh. But I'm not a hundred percent sure. In any case, it's a very good video about Polybius that actually tries to get uh, to the truth. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, we're getting out. This seems like a bad place to be. Yeah, get out of there. Jack is sheet-faced. Ha! That's funny. That's a good one, guys. You did it. Mm. Ooh. Uh, morale on random skill game. Why not? Zombie pointer and use ZP to unlock traits, perks, and more on the title screen. They're saying Retro Ahoy is fucking great. Well, great! Group camps out in a pro shop near a golf course. Antoinette looks out the window and sees a large group of zombies approaching from the driving range. Shoot golf balls at the zombies, prepare for siege, drive away with no, slu Sh no sleep. Shoot golf balls at zombies! You've been playing too much golf story. I know! Oh no, we're both hurt! Oh shit, you should have stretched first. <laughs> Oh my god, Antoinette is killed. Oh no! <clears throat> Shit. Oh well. Yeah, Johnson treats all of his wounds though, so you know, we got that going for us. Why is Gothic Farm glowing? Uh, probably dangerous? Probably dangerous. <clears throat> Egad Johnson sees a farm swarmed by an angry horde. Yeah. Two old-fashioned farmers run into their house. They could still be saved. Zombie forecast is very thick. Aggression. Mega cheesed. Current time near sunset. They are not happy. Oh, hey, look. You can have a gun. You're going to need that gun. Like, was that selected now? What is no, that doing? No, now go over to your carry slot. And now it's, yeah, boom. What's that four mean? Uh, you have four of them. Yep. Now you have three of them. <coughs> Jack Trigger Joyce, I have not been keeping up with the CWDC shows. I have not. There's been uh, there's been actually good things to watch recently, so I have not been keeping up with my CW shows. I've been uh, keeping up with uh, Dirk Gently season two, a show I, I enjoy generally speaking. Um, I tried to. I've, I've been trying to watch. Oh an God! Oh, oh, ge oh Jesus! Where's your gun? I'm dead. I think I'm pretty he, sure I'm dead. You died. You died. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> That's, uh, it's cute. Yeah. I think I'm done. Okay. <laughs> that answers your question of is this worth $10? There you go.
float float a computer in front no, of you. Float a computer in front. Of you. Uh, I've been tr I've been really trying to like give a decent chance to Inhumans because like I in general like Marvel. Yeah. But holy Christ, is that show unbearable? <laughs> It's just the worst, <clears throat> and it does not seem to be interested in getting any better. Chat Jack is still not finished Stranger Things Season 2, so we will not be talking about in it. In fact, I haven't gotten any further on, um, what was that? Was that, yes, that was, that was yesterday, on Monday. Um, uh, I was, I was all, I was all ready to watch some Stranger Things when the wife comes in the office and says, hey, if we leave right now. We can go watch Blade Runner. Yeah. And I was like, fuck yes. <clears throat> so we went and saw Blade Runner 2049 instead of watching Stranger Instead of watching three episodes of Stranger Things, we watched the new Blade Runner because it's fucking <laughs> 18 hours long. <laughs> okay, go. We're doing that already. All right. So what's the last tip you read? I don't know. How about that? Okay. Did you read the one about you being the ghost of Mr. Peanut? Yep. Yep, I sure did. Uh, I hit the road. All right, here we go. Did you read the one about playing Harvester on GOG? Yep. Okay. Groundhog Day? Nope. Hugh Jazzes says, <laughs> Thanks for the spooky stream. Yeah, spooky. Always a fun time. Speaking of spoopies, spooky stuff. Yeah. What movie had an unintentional horror element for you? To me, it's absolutely Groundhog Day. The premise used to freak me out. I don't, I don't think that's unintentional. And Groundhog Day just has darker elements to it. Bill Murray really wanted to make that movie dark. Yeah. What movie had unintentional horror? That's a, you know what? That's a really good question. Sex tap. <laughs> Wah, wah, wah. Starring Mae West. Um. Oh, you know what it did? What was it for me as a kid? The fucking the never-ending story. Yeah. When you get to the wolf and a Treyu dying in the mud, and the world starts crumbling and falling apart. Oh Jesus H Christmas! That 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 freaked the fuck out of me. like the ability to pick stuff up like hit people with it that's fun crusher of city says holy cow my friends and i used to do the same thing with my truck on big trash day love for game choice tonight sure i just tip bits but i'm legit that happy too legit too legit to, to quit something hey that's that's why we you know bits were kind of forced upon us we, we don't really get a choice on whether or not bits were enabled but you know if, if that's what people like to tip with we're not gonna stop you Jack, what did you think of blade runner? i fucking loved blade runner and here's what i can say with certainty rich yeah i think you would like it i i, I might I, I know jay likes it and i jay felt the same way i did about the original right so. Uh, I fucking loved it. I thought it was I thought it was beautiful and wonderful. Uh, to me, that w it was a near perfect movie. Not not a perfect movie, as I think uh, it easily could have shaved like ten minutes off the runtime, and I would have been really happy with it. Just ten, huh? <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because you know, obviously, that's a tough call. In the runtime, you want to you want to have the right mood and atmosphere, but yeah, it felt long. It felt a just a hair too long. Not not aggressively long, but just a hair too long. Um, Chat. The only way Jay could be wrong about his opinion of Blade Runner is if his opinion of Blade Runner wasn't what he says it was. 
It's an opinion. Yeah, agreed. Uh, and but here's what I'll say. Here's why I think I uh, here's why I think you would like it. Yeah. As compared to the original Blade Runner, Blade Runner twenty forty nine story the the story of blade runner 2049 moves okay it it has a, a really nice drive to it and and you understand i'm i'm not fully avoiding it i plan to see it when it's on video but yeah i i, I have no one to go to see it in a theater with and i got other shit i need to do if you can if you if you have the opportunity to see it in a theater because the sound design is wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, with the surround... Or, like, I don't know if you have, like, nice headphones at home. But, like, this, the surround sound was... Oh, who, every, like, I I could I could gush, but I don't want to because... Um, spoilers and stuff. But uh, I could gush. I really enjoyed it. In the morning, there's a moose outside the camp. It looks injured. And it's just glaring at the group. Even injured, a moose is a really powerful creature. Probably best not to mess with it. No, Karen is not going to want to watch Blade Runner. Karen has trouble staying awake for normal sized movies. She is a she habitually falls asleep at, at movie theaters. <laughs> Even if it's something she really wants to see, she will fall asleep in the movie theater. Oh. Nice. There's a supply crate, but it had dog poop on the handle. And so the question was, do you open it even though it has dog poop on the handle? She likes the Philip K. Duck book, though, right? Yes, but she has expressed no interest in going to see the movie, even when I told her it was a thing that exists and is in the theaters. She likes the book. <laughs> Karen's a reader. Karen's a reader. Yeah. <clears throat> Some people just aren't movie people. And that's okay, everybody. You know what other books she loved? Huh. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. You know what she did when we went to see the movie? Huh. She fell asleep in the theater. <laughs> okay, well then there you go. Let's do that. Let's rest. The one she wants to see is It, and I just have no interest in It. She wants to see It? Yeah. Then then you, you might need just a little compromise. I'm like, okay... We'll see it, but then you got to see Blade Runner with me. Weed Whacker! <laughs> What's that? Blade Runner needed to be experienced in the theater. You sound like such a pretentious twat when you say that. I yeah, not you. No, he sure. <laughs> well, it's like, and I I want to agree with that person in that it I I think it's it, it's one of those theater experiences because of the surround sound. You're gonna you're gonna have a better time in the theater. Okay, but equally, if you have a nice pair of headphones with surround sound capabilities, but I th I think sound design uh, shouldn't be I ignored when it comes to Blade Runner. But just as a, as a movie going experience alone, it's it's filled with all the things I love in movies. Uh, it's the only way to experience the film. A <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way. ton a ton of great uh, visual metaphors. Uh, oh, what a what a night what a nice film that Blade Runner is, and and you know just another weird example of a of a, a, a like a modern sequel to an older movie that that actually pulled it off, you know? To me this is this is up there in the Mad Max Fury Road category of I can't believe this is a good thing cuz usually they're garbage. Flying Flynn, it's cool. I'm sorry. I was I was a bit that was a bit dickish of me. That was a bit dickish of me and I I formally apologize. <laughs> It's just Blade Runner fans can be so obnoxious about it. Yeah, and and you know we guys we, we got to be cool. We got to be cool about it. You know.
It's okay if Rich didn't like the original. Shit. Oh, fuck. I lost someone. What's Villan Villanevu? How do you say his name? Oh, I have no idea. What's his next project? There won't be one because apparently Blade Runner tanked. Blade, Blade Runner did not fare well. I bet it's going to clean up at uh, the the technical Oscars. Like sound design, sound editing, blah, blah, blah. Like it's going to clean up at those Oscars. It's probably even going to get nominated for a couple. That poor that poor dude, like, you know, Arrival didn't do great in the theaters. And now the new Blade Runner hasn't done great in the theaters. But damn, does he make some good movies. You haven't seen Arrival yet either. No. I know I need to see that. If you like you're going to be a fan of this guy. Can I Can I rest? Oh. I think you just need health supplies. Everyone else is dead, huh? Yeah. Sorry. I thought I had health supplies. Oh no, I dropped them. Because my my character got killed. There's a trader came, yeah. It's hard sci fi, just not profitable anymore. Not really. Star Trek wasn't the hardest science fiction of all time, and look what they've done to that. Uh. They gotta make it more palatable to a mainstream audience! And this is this is what happens when the cost of, of making media goes up. Yep, yep. They need to make the money back. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Basically, this this director, whatever his name is, Villain Villu, uh, is going to get a sweet Netflix deal after this because uh, people, you know, he's very uh, critically successful, not necessarily box office wise. So something like The Expanse. So something like the well, no, I think The Expanse is doing very well for sci-fi. Well, I said like The Expanse. So oh, so sure. He'll be doing a TV show that's science fiction and exactly, but not like like Stranger Things wouldn't necessarily reach a wide audience outside of Netflix. Mm -hmm. But because Netflix is what they are, they're okay catering to the niche market. Stranger Things would need some serious fucking editing to, to even work in a theater. You'd need to cut out entire characters and, and <laughs> subplots. <laughs> you gotta get rid of the teenagers, I'm sorry! Oh, yeah, like, they would, like, if, if you were to smush that down into a movie, you know, a couple episodes into a movie, or even have that on, like, regular television, they would, they would pick at it so much. What? Anime? What are you talking about? I'm getting out of here. What? Can't get rid of Steve? You get, I, look, I love Steve in season two. You could easily get rid of Steve. Uh, but he's great in season two. Hey, fecal drippings! <laughs> I heard people are poo-pooing on Ready Player One already. I'm just, just reading the Wikipedia page about the book... It sounds like a fucking uh, reference mess. It's going to be a nightmare. It sounds like there's no value to it other than reference, 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 reference. Uh, yes. And I, I have a hard time imagining it being a, a legitimately good movie. Uh, yes. I agree with you. Which book? Ready Player One what we're talking about at the moment yeah that uh just from the excerpts i've read online it sounds unbearable do you remember that thing is that thing you remember 
thing. <laughs> Crocodile Brain says, Aye, you're playing my request. Here's 10 bucks on me. Can't watch the stream because the kids are still up. Thanks again. Can't wait to watch the replay unless you're still broadcasting later. We'll see. So what's what's the plan for tomorrow? Uh, I thought this was replacing tomorrow. Okay, I just wanted to confirm that. I thought that's what, what was happening. Oh. Uh, you know, that doesn't have to happen. Well, I guess we'll see how late we go tonight. I'm- I think I'm starting to feel a cold coming on. So oh, I think shit. I'm okay with preemptively not streaming tomorrow. Okay. I got- I got that back of the throat soreness coming on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, man. Yeah, we still have- oh, shit. Yeah, we have other stuff to, uh, to record today, or not today, this week. I'd like to... Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, and we're dead, and we're dead, and we're dead, and we're dead. Which one were you last in average Spider-Man either? Probably over a decade? I like the... F I actually really... People criticized it for going down the magic route, but I like the first part of uh, JMS's run as a writer. Uh... Was it John J, J M uh, Straczynski? Okay. John John is it John Michael or something Michael? Jan Michael? No, it's not Jan. Might be. Jan Michael Straczynski sound, uh, sounds. J M Straczynski though. Okay. I, I like the first half of his run. Then when he started doing uh, Gwen Stacy's Goblin Babies. <laughs> uh huh. That's that's when he lost me. <laughs> Took a, took a sharp dive for me after that. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Gwen Stacy's Goblin Babies. That's great. That's great. Oh, hold on. I gotta, I gotta fix my eye the, holes. The, the Babylon 5 guy. Who also did the Ghostbusters cartoon, the first season. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, there you go. Which is why the first season of that is really good. Uh. <laughs> There was a cure for being a nerd. Would you take it? What you what you're what you're what you're what you're saying is, would you like to not be you? I'm I'm fine with being me. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like me being me sometimes. <laughs> and when I don't like being me, I just change what I'm doing. Okay, let's go. Let's try a quiet hotel. Take a flashlight with us. Here we go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, what are you saying? Jan Michael Strizzis. We we're talking about Spider Man. When was Spider -Man. I when was I last an avid reader? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Of the books. Yeah, yeah. So I guess that's mid to somewhat early two thousands. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, you know, comics comics are tough, man. They're tough to be into, they're tough to stay into. When did when did Ultimate Spider Man take? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a tough question. Uh, they they started to get. I, I'm still reading it for a little while, but they started to get bad when they did their Clone Saga. Yep. It just reinforces the notion that Spider Man should never do Clone Sagas. Oh my God. Never ever ever. Which, if you read the very early Spider Man comics, yes, and I love them. A, a, a young 15-year-old Rich Evans loved reading those old classic stories about a young 15-year-old Peter Parker. Yep. I also loved when, uh, oh god, guy, guy who wrote Marvels, Alex, or not, what's his name? What's his name? He did it. Alex Ross? No, he, that, was the, that was the painter. Oh, yeah. He was the writer. Oh, I can't think of his name. 
Guess who did Astros? Kurt, Kurt Busiek? 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 I don't know how you pronounce his last name. But he did uh, unt Untold Tales of Spider-Man. Which, uh, the continuity of Untold Tales of Spider-Man takes place like in between the classic uh, Stan Lee and Steve Ditko Spider-Man issues. Oh yeah? Like there'll be an asterisk, like what issue it takes place between. <laughs> this story takes place between issues 4 and 5 of The Amazing Spider-Man. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, yeah, those were great. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm failing. Did I ever read Spider-Man 2099 or any of the 2099 series? I like Spider-Man 2099 at first, and I, I don't I don't know, just it it didn't find a, a focus, a direction. It was just going in circles, and then I lost interest. Hmm. You know, I'm still trying to remember when the clones started in Ultimate Spider-Man. That was that was early. That was way earlier than you would think. That was like the issue thirty or forty. Forty. Something. I was yeah. gonna say forty, fifty. So yeah. And that's that's where I kind of fell off of those. Yeah. The Clone Saga and and Gwen Stacy became Carnage, or maybe Carnage became Gwen Stacy. It wasn't entirely clear. And I think Carnage became Gwen <laughs> Stacy. That's what it was. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I stayed for all all 100 of the, uh, shit, where's my gun? You have a gun. I stayed for all 100 issues of their run together. The, uh, the, oh shit. Qbert, not Qbert. Uh, Mark Bagley and Bendis. Brian Bendis. Bendis, the entire Bendis Bagley run I read all of. Yeah. Um, not necessarily because I wanted to, but I think, like, I made it to, like, issue 60 or something, and then they had mentioned that this, you know, they were they were going to do a long run, and this is going to be the uh, longest, and yeah, all right. By the way, whenever I talk about Ultimate Spider-Man, that's also what I am referring to. I have not read any of the, um, the current Ultimate Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Sure. I've not read any of that, so. Oh, and I've read a few issues of that. I think it's all right. No, it didn't catch me. Didn't catch me, uh. Like, uh, like OG Ultimate Spider-Man. But, but Brian, Brian Bendis' mistake with Ultimate Spider-Man, with, you know, the Peter Parker version, was just too, too many story arcs were the worst thing, the most dramatic worst thing to ever happen! <laughs> and it, it, it got, it got exhausting to read. Yeah, yeah, you got fatigued it was, real fast. It stopped being fun and it became a horror story. Yeah. <laughs> Like all of the time, 100% misery all the time. By the way, you're absolutely true. That's that's absolutely correct. You just you just felt bad yeah. for everyone who lived in this world. Like, take a break. Yeah. Bring it down a notch. Just How about this story? Eric? Peter Parker, he looks for the bank robbers. Like do you 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 remember those first couple of issues he would hang out with Wolverine and just have a fun time? <laughs> can we do can we do that again? Can we can he just go on an adventure with Wolverine where Wolverine, like, do you remember that issue? That was fun. yeah, yeah. Where they switch bodies. Yeah, they switch, but or, or no, no, he kept, finds him unconscious. I thought they had their brain swapped for oh, an issue. Maybe. maybe that was later. He finds him unconscious and like rescues him and saves him, and then like he follows around Wolverine going through the city, and like Wolverine goes to visit like like Black Widow and Peter Parker, who's a teenager, sees like a, a woman for the first time. He's like, what? You know some attractive ladies. I loved it. Well, that's they switched bodies. Wasn't Wolverine and his body, like, coming on to, like... Oh, is that... <laughs> Mary oh, Jane and oh. Gwen Stacy? <laughs> <laughs> I it's think I for... say... I swear they did that. Oh, it's been so... It's been for <laughs> fucking ever. <laughs> but you know what? I, I guess the point of it is they were having some fun in the beginning issues of Ultimate Spider-Man. They were having some fun with it. Uh, map. Paxis Prime says Paxis Prime. Sending you guys gifts from Singapore. Okay. 
any Asian snacks or food you like. Also sending Duran flavored stuff. Hope you guys try eating that on stream or best of the worst. Yep. Oh, we have gotten we have gotten like Asian snacks before, and I don't eat them because I can't read the ingredients usually, and I have lots of allergy issues right. that I have to worry about. Oh yeah, yeah. Nuts or seafood or something, it'll it'll mess me up. Why are you the... Mo Key B85 says hi wreckers. I really like seeing the general gore footage on the Planketo outtakes. Would love seeing more of that really works, not the full films. Maybe just review or retrospective about them. Uh we'll see. We'll see. Yep. Who had the gun? Well, oh, check the check your inventory. Right. Oh, apparently that was Dory. I don't know that we're especially eager for the shit we did in high school getting out there. <laughs> it's just garbage. If it was good, it would be out already. I don't have an EpiPen because my allergies have not been deathly, but... But they could be. They might be getting worse as I age. That happens. That's possible. Skin of my teeth. Made it out by the skin of my fucking teeth. Am I at all into movies that aren't sci-fi or fantasy? Oh, sure. Like, not, not as a genre that, uh, that I obsess over. Like, drama. Oh, I love dramas, but I'm sure I've seen dramas I've liked. <laughs> yeah. Like, good old-fashioned action movie. Like, you know, Die Hard. That's not sci-fi. Yeah. That's not fantasy. Just a nice action movie. Yeah. Love It's a Wonderful Life. Mhm. 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 Oh yeah, Shawshank, that's one of my favorites of all time. Oh, there you go. Shawshank Redemption is fucking great. There you go. Everybody likes Shawshank. Everybody likes Shawshank. Leave the moose alone. Somebody playing with a moose? There was a moose. Uh, I got a, and and last time I tried, I, there was an injured moose. And last time I tried to heal the moose, and the moose attacked me. So this time I decided to leave the moose alone. Dory spots an extra tall pile of garbage near some buildings. It's maybe over twelve feet tall. Littered, uh, littering got pretty bad near the collapse of civilization. Extra large can of baked beans is stuck near the top. Sure, let's climb the garbage pile. Oh, we got some food, but we lost some morale. That's yeah, fine, we got food. Wonderful Life is technically a fantasy, isn't it? I guess it is. I guess it is. Do you watch some of the movies people send you? Any of you guys like Bollywood movies? Uh, the only Bollywood movie I've ever seen was that uh, robot one. That's a fun one. That's a fun one. It's extremely long. Yeah, well, that's Bollywood movies. <laughs> right. So in general, no. As far as do we watch any of the movies people send us, that's, that's best of the worst. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh... 
in, in high school, I had uh, I had a, a, a few Indian friends, and so we would watch Bollywood movies. Um, and of course, I was fascinated by them. I don't remember any of their titles because they were all like, you know, his parents came from India, and so like they were all like Indian movies. And uh, but yeah, we would watch them every once in a while, and they they're weird, man. Yeah, they're great. They're great. It's so different. Maybe a new game could help me. Yeah, maybe it could. Did Rich wear all green tonight? What are you talking about? I'm a I'm a I'm a disembodied head. I'm a floating disembodied head. That, Ooh, that's Rich's Ooh. costume. Someone, uh, someone, give me an uptime. Give me an uptime. Do you want to do you want to switch to something else? Uh, I think we're good for see. switching to something else. That's why I want to I want to double check the uptime. What I, oh, yep, we're fine. Oh, good. Let's switch to something else. <laughs> I don't care for this game. It's all right. It's all right. Eh. I'm not. I'm not in love. But eh. It's all right. Well, the question is: Are we going to the old standby Friday the Thirteenth, or are we gonna look for something else small and spoopy? Right. Hold on. I want to check the perks and trait. I don't know how many points I got. <laughs> The blue prism says, hey, Rich, do me a favor and say, hi, Sydney. There you go. Hello, Sydney. Some of you are talking about someone named Sydney and not the city. Nope, just all of Sydney. Oregon Trail. That's probably a bit too similar to what we just did. Yep. What? <laughs> I, I have to look for the mouse, but uh, my I have Ooh. I have absolutely no peripheral. Is a thing you need to know about me and this costume. All right, hold on for a Hold on, looking for games. Looking for games. Everybody is having their, you know, Halloween sales at the moment, which is great. Wait, is this previously recorded or is it live? Ah, now you get the title. It, what? Do we have a confetti button? We don't have a confetti button. Oh god damn it, we need a confetti we button. We forgot we forgot to get, get a confetti. Ah, oh, we need confetti. Uh, that was that was a confetti worthy comment. You think that was confetti yeah. worthy? They oh. got it. That was a celebration. They got it. Oh, they go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. You get you. You understand the joke? What's the What's the Halloween sale? How do I go to the Halloween sale? On sale now. Okay. Oh, you checking some GOG? Yeah, see what's on the yeah, GOG. Yeah, what's, yeah, what's the game you guys yeah, want? Yeah. Where are you going? What's the game you guys wanted me to play? <laughs> What's the game you guys wanted me to play? You you have been talking about Ooh. it. What? GOG has Doom 3 now. Oh, okay. Quake 4? Nice. <laughs> I have it on disc, but it'd be nice just to have a, a, just a fully digital version without DRM for that. Yeah, yeah. I might I might get me that Quake 4. Uh, it's on sale right now. Well, how much is it? Quake 4? Uh, it's five dollars. You logged in as me? No, I'm logged in as me. Ah, god damn it! You'll have to remember later. Yeah, yeah. No, Blood Bowl. I, I didn't. I couldn't get into too much. There was a game on GOG that you said I should get. Who said it? Who said it? I don't want to play Full Throttle. <laughs> I hated Hollow Knight. You guys, you guys are not helping. Uh, we might. I mean, we have Dead Space. That's spooky. I don't think we've played it in a year. Right. Right. <laughs> we played that last spooky game. The static speaks my name is what you're looking for. Twenty to thirty minute game, psychological horror. Psychological horror. It's gonna be a walking simulator. <laughs> Fucking hell, you know it is. Uh, 
<sighs> you got none of these are the game that you said I should play. Oh, Bloodborne. Let's stop the stream and go home and get your PS4 and come back. Okay. Okay, let's do that. We'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> play Soma so we can all get annoyed by how bad it is? Fucking right. Somebody asked earlier if there's a game you want to see made into a movie. It's Soma. Ooh, there you go. Yeah. That's... I don't want to see the game, but I... I'd like to see it made as a movie. That would be a great movie. Agreed. Agreed. All right, what do we got? I here? want I want Villeneuve to direct it. Ooh, yeah. He yeah, I mean obviously he's great at everything he does. Um All right, come on, Rich. Help me help me out here. <sighs> Untold Stories looks just like Stranger Things. It's probably another walking simulator. It's probably you don't even walk, it's probably just to click on things. No. <laughs> uh, you know, no. I don't think that would work well on the stream. That looks like yeah, that looks like a lot of a lot of listening and talking. This is this isn't is this a Halloween specific section? These don't look very scary. These stories. are just on sale. These are the ones on sale. They're having a all Halloween right, sale. Right. There's Jack the Ripper, Layers of Fear. That's gonna suck. <laughs> you know it. Huh? You know it. You know it's gonna eh, suck. Well, you know, why don't we play something that's just shitty? I'm fine with that. Layers of Fear is a first-person psychedelic horror game with a heavy focus on story oh, and exploration. No. Players take control of a painter whose sole person is, purpose is to finish his magnum opus. Exploration. That's uh, gonna be my guess. So we're doing it? You don't have to. We're doing it? That's gonna be horrible. So we're doing it? It's gonna be absolutely horrible. So what you're saying is we're doing All it. All right. Great. All right. You guys wanted it. Here it is. Checking out now. Downloading for four dollars. Layer of fear. Layers of fear. You're saying there are a bunch of scary ghosts in Witcher Three. <laughs> is that what you guys want? L oh wait, they played Observer. Did we? Is that? I think that's the game you were talking about. Did I play that one? Which one is it? That's the game I was looking for earlier. Observer. Click search for. That's the game I was. That's the game I was searching about. How do you search? Oh, here it is. Uh, lots of people upset that we did the didn't do the ghost quest with the other ending for Witcher Three. Not that you could know when you played it the first time, but. Um. What do you mean the ghost quest? The ghost quest we streamed with the the the, the ghost who killed the guy. Yeah. And sad we didn't get the other ending for that. I didn't know there was I know. Other ending. Well, you couldn't know. I just played how I would want to play. I think this is the game they were talking about before. What is this? I don't recall this, but you might have streamed it without me. Uh, I don't think I've streamed this. The year is 2084. You somehow survived the nanophage. Odds, and you were killed in the war. Nanophage. Is that the disease that the that one species has in Voyager? That's or is that just the phage? Right. Oh, the phage. That's what I'm talking about. Adventure simulation horror. I don't know about this, guys. I have no mouth and I must scream. Is that a game? That's a Harlan Ellison uh, short story that they turned into a game. And it's an adventure point and click. Yeah, I'm. I'm just throwing out things. I, uh, Rich, I'm gonna be honest with you. I really thought you had a plan. This I'm was kind of. This honestly, was kind of your Friday idea. Friday the Thirteenth. Okay, let's do. You it. didn't want to do that. Who didn't? So, chat didn't want to do. Yeah, that? my. Well, you did. You, well, wait. No, chat didn't want to do that. Yeah. No, no. My plan was just Friday the Thirteenth. All right, let's do that. But the chat was just like, eh. Fuck them. Eh. All right. <laughs> Great. No, that, that that actually was my plan. Oh yeah. Well, let's do your plan then, man. All right. Let's do your fucking plan. Well, then, I was yeah. just, just getting upset. You know, I was getting set up for it. And everyone was like, ah, no, nah, something else, something new, something new. Yeah, it's very something new, new, something new. It was a Friday the 13th. We're spooky games time. Is there a... There it is. It's spooky games time, Rich. 
We're going to do it. We're going to vote for uh, spooky games. You don't want to watch to watch. We'll come back to uh, next week with no spooky games. <laughs> Rich blew it. Look, I I asked the chat for a consensus. Yeah. And I got a consensus. Yeah. And I'm just thinking about you people, man. I'm not. I'm thinking about you guys. Yep. Ow! 